Here's what TV shows the Explosion Network is looking forward to in October. Represent order, security, safety. On October 8th, Batwoman Season 1 debuts on Fox 8. Set three years after billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne, his vigilante alter ego Batman disappeared. His cousin Kate Kane looks to overcome her demons by protecting the streets of Gotham City as Batwoman and becoming a symbol of hope. Starring Ruby Rose and taking elements from her initial run by Greg Rucker and J.H. Williams III, this might be the one to check out for anyone who has fallen off the CWDC shows. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. <laughs> You're quick. What, the? what is this place? Star Wars Resistance Season 2 is the final season and it's looking to be a much more action-packed and potentially darker one at that, with the team of Kaz and Co attempting to find a way to get in contact with the remaining members of the Resistance. This season takes place during the events of The Last Jedi and will finish up closer to the rise of Skywalker. With its premiere in October, hopefully some details about how the Resistance gets back on its feet following the end of The Last Jedi will be revealed. If you are not capable of dealing with them, then I will find someone who can. Isn't it crazy? In just nine months, life as we know it will be over. On October 9th, Riverdale Season 4 debuts on Netflix. The residents of Riverdale are back, and I'm sure some other killer is going to be sharp to terrorize everyone. Little of this year's plot has been revealed, but we did get a glimpse of Archie, Betty, and Veronica burning their bloody clothes at the end of last season, so we can only assume they've gotten themselves into some more serious trouble. But first, the show will say goodbye to Archie's father, Fred Andrews, who was played by Luke Perry, who tragically passed away earlier this year. And all of its glories. Hmm. Oliver Queen. Man who channels his hubris and anger and calls it strength. On October 16th, Arrow, the final season, debuts on Fox 8. Oliver Queen is back for 10 final episodes of the show, The Birth of the Arrowverse. While we don't know much about what he will be doing, we do know that we'll be seeing a lot of returning characters, the future storyline that started in Season 8 will continue, and it is all leading to the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event. The biggest TV event ever? Just one more thing I gotta do. Are you suffering? Like all of John Green's novels, I cried a lot reading Looking for Alaska. Also, like most of Green's books, Looking for Alaska is a coming-of-age story focused on a group of teenage characters. I'm a big fan of the book and really excited about this series. How they'll play certain elements of the book in this series, though, I'm not sure. And some elements are bound to be controversial. But I can't wait to find out how they all pull it together later in October. It's not fair. You don't have a choice. It's the human condition. Ah! Even when your heart breaks, you have to find a way to keep living. You're welcome. Okay. On October 18th, Living With Yourself debuts on Netflix. Paul Rudd plays a man who undergoes an experimental treatment to improve his life, only to be replaced by a new and improved version of himself, and must fight for his wife, his career, and his very identity. It's Paul Rudd acting with Paul Rudd, and possibly Paul Rudd trying to kill Paul Rudd. What more could you want? Another Paul Rudd? No, that would be just way too much Paul Rudd. How do you feel? Happy. Obsessed with justice because of some injustice they suffered. Ergo, the mask. It hides the pain. I wear the mask to protect myself. Right. From the pain. 
I have no clue what the hell is happening in the Watchmen series coming to Showtime on October 20th, late in October. It's been headed by Damon Lindelof, so my confusion probably makes sense. Lindelof has stated that this is a sequel to the 12 issues of the Watchmen comic book, and in that regard, kind of a sequel to the movie by Zack Snyder, but he wants us to see the series stand on its own. But with the idea of Dr. Manhattan returning from the moon some 30 years later after his solitude and the groups of masked police and vigilantes we see in the trailer reaching and culminating in a potential war, there's lots to get excited about on October 20th. Well, it looks like you got things under control here. Full costume. Thanks. 